Hey everyone, so very quick tip how to align control points uh, on G1 because um, I got a comment on YouTube from Adam World 73 and he asked uh, blah 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 so was the XYZ alignment for control points or anything else? So I wonder when in plasticity I have to align some points on the exact line for G1, is it precise? Is it the precise way and how to do it without do it by approximate uh, approximation uh, by the eyes. Um, so I'm not 100% sh sure if I understood the question, but I think he means like how to connect, for example, those two curves. Um, and then once you have this curve and then you want the G1 connection on those um, endpoints, how to align the control points. So for example, very simple, if you have two curves, you can just go to points mode, select those two points and just loft them by pressing L, right? And so I will show it to you in a second how to do it manually. But uh, here, so let's just click here G1 and G1. So this is the loft between those two curves. So you have then here the control point curves and they will automatically slide on the yeah, G1 kind of line or um, yeah, so of the extension of that point with the G1, right? So you can also do that here. And um, so this is that way. But then what if you want to do it in some um, example like manually? So then, for example, you can take here the control point curve. So just select the curve here and take the control point curve and snap again to the point. And you can drag that out. So the first control point you can directly drag out here on the tangent. So yeah, so drag that just uh, for example out here. But now maybe that's your question, how to align it to this point, right? Because now we can only snap to this endpoint of the second curve, but there is no tangent line anymore. So for that we have in plasticity construction lines. So just snap to this point, but before you click on it, just press shift, the shift key, because then you get like this, a lot of lines. And one of them, the thin purple one is the tangent. So you can snap one control point here, and then you can snap to the end point and right click. And this way, this control point curve, uh, control point and this control point are both G1 to those curves. And now even further, what, for example, you have created now the curve, but now we can't adjust those control points curve anymore, right? So how to adjust those control point curves? So uh, how to slide them, what you also asked, like the XYZ alignment. And there's, I don't know, maybe there's another way, but one way how you could do it is if you just create a line and you just snap to this point from the first curve, then you can snap it here and then you can just drag out this line and you can still snap here on the tangent, right? So you can just create it, right click. And also, by the way, if you select this curve, if you press M, uh, you can just um, give it here a color. So just let's give it here a, a purple, right? Right click. So we just know this is here our yeah, reference line. And if you press now one, you can get to your points back. And now you can just take this control point curve and with control click, uh, you have to see, so I'm using here different keyboard layout, but it should be control click. You can now slide this curve where you want it. Or you can also select it, press G for move and G again to be in a free form move. And again, with con control click, you can now place the point where you want, right? So for example, um, oops, so G, G, control click, for example, here, if you need it exactly here, right click. And the same for here, shift A, just create the line, snap to this point, drag that out here on the tangent. And then this point you can slide and you can do like even G2 now, if you want, by selecting this curve and select uh, or pressing shift S to raise the degree. So you get one additional point and then you can take this point and again with control click snap to our reference G1 curve, which is purple, right click. And now, for example, if you take now those two lines or curves and if you press E and F and I will just extrude them here you see you have absolute 
perfect, perfect transition. It's like a G2 uh, transition, right? So yeah, I hope this helps you. So leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to learn complex modeling and plasticity completely step by step, and you want to learn how to model a car, product, sci-fi design, all sorts of amazing complex designs, I have amazing, very step-by-step -step courses. Uh, link in the description. So check that out if you're interested in and see you in the next one. Bye.